Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. Uh, in the last episode, we found out, didn't we? We found out a thing. Oh, man. It was, um, so, uh, you know, some might say that it was a truth, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, a revelation. It was a revelation, um, bomb. Okay, that joke was not funny at all, and I apologize you had to sit through that. Anyways, yeah, uh, it's 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 pretty cool, because the first time you play this game, you do not expect it at all, since Jeannie Mae Crawford's such a nice southern gal. Uh, but it turns out that Jeannie Mae Crawford literally sold Boone's... You know what? I never tried. What happens if you try to talk to Boone about it? I never tried that. I want to go try it now. I mean, I feel like they don't even give you an option to tell him, but that'd be kind of weird, right? Uh, anyways, we found out that indeed, uh, well, let's take a, yeah, let's get everybody back on the same page. So we are doing one for my baby. Send someone in front of a dinky, in front of dinky, a dinky, the dinosaur, put on the beret to signal to Boone that this is the culprit. So we're looking for who basically killed Boone's wife. And what we found out was not only was Boone's uh, wife pregnant, but she and the unborn child were sold into slavery to Caesar's Legion by Jeannie May Crawford, which is just so messed up. For a total of 1,500 caps, which let me remind you, we already have more of, and we just started our adventure. So that's really messed up for her to do that. Now, I want to try to talk to Boone real quick. I feel like they don't let you do anything with this information, but I want to see. You shouldn't be here. If people know we talked, they'll suspect you. And if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have the Legion after both of us. I'm leaving. Don't come here again till it's over. Right, that's why he, yeah, he said we should, that's a, that's good writing. That's how, yeah, that's how the developers were like, oh, what if they try to talk to Boone? We, you know, we want them to see the crazy thing that happens. So there you go. That's how they got around that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So we have to do it at night because Boone is the night sniper, um, which means, you know, if Manny's out there in the daytime, it ain't gonna work. So what we need to do is open our uh, open up our map, take a look at the world or the local map, and find Jeannie Mae Crawford's house. So which one would that be? No Bark Shack is there. Rangy Andy, Ranger Ant, Rangy Andy's, Ranger Andy's bungalow, uh, Cliff Briscoe's bungalow, Jeannie Mae Crawford, who is literally right over here to our left. I thought she was around here. Okay, so is this where that is? Aha. Oh, Jeannie Mae. If you'd get up for me, that'd be great. Hey there. Hi. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Oh, that's okay. Um, come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's an emergency, I promise. Now, what's probably going to happen here is, uh, well, I guess we'll just give Boone the go-ahead and he'll come on down and we'll resolve this peacefully. We'll talk it out and, yeah, I got to say. I mean, I'm not saying this to her, by the way. We're not letting her in on this just yet. Uh, also, should we equip the... forget how this works. Should we go ahead and equip the uh, Boone's Beret right now? I guess it doesn't matter. I think we might have... well, we'll see. Okay, so, yeah, let's bring Jeannie Mae Crawford. She walks at a snail's pace, by the way. Look how much faster we are in comparison to her. My God, woman. Um, yeah, we need to bring her out right in front of the uh, dinosaur up here. And again, keep in mind, you could do this with anybody. It doesn't have to be Jeannie Mae Crawford. You could do this with anybody. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh, I sure am. All right, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we don't have the option. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to stand right in front of her. Like I said, we'll equip Boone's, uh, you know, this is to give him the signal, and I'm sure he'll come down here. Also, why can't I wear this? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll equip this. We'll let him know, and I'm sure he'll come down here, and we'll resolve this. Uh, I don't think he's going to be too happy with Jeannie Mae Crawford here. And that's probably an understatement. <laughs> Oh, man. I wonder how that's actually programmed. Uh, because I wonder... I, I don't know if they actually have Boone kill her. Um, I would imagine the way that they program it is that if you equip that, you know, it's kind of like her head just explodes. And they also play the sound of a uh, shot going off. I don't really know. But nevertheless, we get Jeannie Mae's safe key. Um, and that's about that. So, yeah. Anybody you bring out here, Boone will go ahead and snipe their head off uh, if you wear the beret. Uh, it's really crazy, and like I said, um, probably one of the, 
just one of the quests that made people fall in love with this game. Uh, this game over Fallout 3 and even Fallout 4, I think, is just excellent at just saying, hey, let's do that. Screw it. Let's just do it. And that's kind of, again, how Fallout 1 and 2 are as well, made by the same, at least parts of the same team, if I remember right. If I'm wrong about that, I'm sorry. But, yeah, okay, so, uh, so let's go and talk to Boone. That's it, then. How did you know? I just wanted you to kill her. I don't think he'd like that. I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. So we got karma. There is a karma system, which I haven't really talked about. Positive and negative. You know, like Fallout 3. Uh, so we're getting lots of positive karma so far. Again, there's more to this character than just a good guy, I promise. But so far, yeah, we're, we're just going to be racking up that good karma. We also got 100 bottle caps, and I think he gave us a, uh, a beret as well. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. <laughs> oh, Boone. Cold as ice. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Come with me. Let's go after the Legion. You don't want to do that. I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Okay, so there are a lot of companions in Fallout New Vegas. And they each have their own... Dialogue and quest lines. So that's going to be the tricky thing. We're going to have to do all of their... Yeah, that's going to be the real tricky thing now that I think about it. Because obviously whoever we side with, uh, they will dislike us. Obviously with Boone here, if we sided with the with the Legion, I think he would get pretty angry. So this is that's going to be tricky with this 100% playthrough. Also, each time you get a companion, they give you a perk. And I think when you max them out, their affinity or whatever, they give you another perk. Like an upgraded perk. So we got the spotter perk from good old Boone here. And now he is our follower. Achievement unlocked as well. Old buddy, old pal. So I think there's an achievement for getting every single uh, follower. We're going to get every single follower, obviously, and then try to max all of them out as well to get all their perks. Let's take a look at the perk that he just gave us, which is called Spotter. Here we go. While Boone is a companion, hostile targets are highlighted whenever the player is actively aiming. Really good, actually. Um, that actually does really come in handy. Uh, we can test that out, I suppose. I don't really want to travel with Boone for too much. I always like playing, you know, lone lone ranger type dudes. Plus, if you're doing the wrong things or saying the wrong things with companions in your party, they're going to get angry. And if you do too many bad things, you know, they'll leave. Which I don't want to happen, obviously. Uh, so we're going to do some more stuff in Novak before we head out. Uh, one of those things is if we go over to Data... Or data and look at the miscellaneous here we got midnight ranch attacks also nighttime sniper but we already know about that dusty mcbride wants you to look into the nightly shootings of his livestock which he says tend to occur around midnight being at the brahmin pen at that time would seem to be the best way to catch the culprit so where again was dusty it's it must be that one right there since there's brahmin nearby uh, I don't remember doing this at all. I feel like I've skipped this uh, in a lot of my playthroughs, so I don't remember what happens with this. But here we are. Going to go ahead and draw our rifle. What time is it? 2.24 a.m. So this actually just happened uh, about two hours ago, it seems. Hopefully I didn't already ruin this. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, time travel here. Let's see. 2, uh, 2 a.m. So if we tra so we've waited 24 hours, that would be... Uh, 2 a.m., obviously. Then 1 a.m., then midnight... Thing is, I never know whether I need to wait an hour before or after for these things to happen, but I think, uh, I think generally, as long as you wait within the hour, you know, as long as you're there within the hour, so as long as it's from midnight to one, I think we should be safe. Yeah, I have no idea what happens here. I don't remember, so I'm really super duper curious. I have a vague memory, but I don't think that's it. Well, here we are. It's midnight. 
1230. We got a Brahmin here with some Brahmin meat. Hearing all sorts of sounds. We might have to wait until... Yeah, we might have to wait until, like, it turns midnight. I'm not entirely sure. Boone's running for it, though. Guess he's just trying to catch up with us. Okay, I, uh... Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Well, hello, dude. I mean, Nightkin. Talking to me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we've got a Nightkin. This is our first instance of this. Oh, God, I hope we actually survive this. We're gonna go for the head with our laser rifle here. Actually, is he even attacking? To oh, hold on. Whoa! Uh. Hello? Okay, I don't know if that's supposed to solve things or not. He's just walking up. Yeah, so that's our first instance of a night. Oh, man, I have not done this in so long. I don't even remember this at all. Uh, okay, let's go and talk to these fellas. Can we inform them what just happened? Find anything? Not yet. Well, don't worry yourself too much over it. We'll get by. Crap. Okay. Looks like you just have to take care, but, I mean, what do you do? Oh, okay, where's our autosave? That's not good. I guess it just autosaved here. Uh, where's the last save? You know what? I'm going to try to redo that and take care of the problem and see if that works. So I'll see you all in just a second. All right, everybody. So my save was actually uh, before we killed Genie Mae. Well, before Boone killed Genie Mae. So we're going to reload this. We're going to go up to midnight again. And I guess we just have to kill the Nightkin. It's weird because we can't interact with it. And it's not, like, mean. It's not, um, it, it's considered, like, a, a friendly target. It's just going after the Brahmin. There it is right there. Uh, so we're going to make a save here, I guess. Well, I saved before we waited. And uh, we're just going to kill the Nightkin, and hopefully that does it. You can see him right there, the Ripple. So, yeah, a Nightkin is a super mutant that is, like, abused stealth boys, basically. I guess I just got to go for it, huh? Oh, my God, and they're extremely terrifying, by the way. They run at you. They just bolt. I love the, I love the, uh, the design of them, though, I got to say. Uh, they got this cool little stop sign gauntlet thing, and they just, I don't know. I like the getup, and they're purple, too, uh, as opposed to the normal green super mutants. So this guy has five millimeter rounds, which are the big minigun rounds. The scream, oh, oh, that's how you do it, I guess. You got to listen to this hollow tape, And then a minigun, which is valued at 16, I guess because it's so crappy. Man, they must have done that on purpose to, like, not make the player super OP at the start with a minigun, I guess. So, yeah, we're not going to take that. Okay, so we got note added, the screams of Brahmin. Let's take a look at that. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Well, that does not sound good now, does it? Yeah, I don't even remember the last time I did this. I mean, I assume I did it at some point, but there we go. So now we should be able to inform Dusty over here. Um, yeah, so the Nightkin, we'll learn more about them later on, but there's a reason why that didn't make much sense, I'd say. Howdy. Find anything? No one is going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we got 75 bottle caps out of that. Novak fame. And maybe some experience? Goodbye. So long. Okay. Accepted folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. And they said go back into the freezer, this thing? Brahmin steaks, 10, valued at 50 a pop. They weigh eight each, or is that for total, though? Okay, it's total. Yeah. I was going to say 10, man. Uh, we're probably not going to eat those because they do have rads, but we can at least sell them. Now, are we done with Nova? I mean, we obviously have to go do the Repcon quest and come back and talk to uh, talk to good old Manny, and I'm trying to just rack my brain if there's anything left to do here in Novak. Um, I think we might have to talk to No Bark. I thought he has some sort of quest or something, or he might be involved. I think that's what it is. I think he's involved with another quest. But outside of that, I think we're done here for the most part. Hopefully, the town doesn't take Genie Mae's death as uh, too hard. Hopefully, Boone... Well, I guess Boone's not going to explain it to him, considering we're leaving. Careful. You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Why do they call you No Bark? 
Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say has got bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. Okay, no bark. Has anyone been acting strange lately? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, cause it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. I mean, honestly, there's probably something to that, yeah. Does anything interesting happen in this area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Who do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. All right, now that's where we're going to end this conversation, no bark. Goodbye. If anyone asks, we never spoke. I'm down with keeping that. Yeah, I'm down with doing that, with going along with that. Um, there is one more thing, I think, in Novak before we head out. Uh, jeez. There, yeah, there, like I said, there's lots of neat little secrets and stuff here. I'm trying to... I feel like there's multiple things, too, but we can always come back, obviously. But I do want to do one last thing before we head out. And it should be this one, Door to Ranger Andy's Bungalow. Hi there, Ranger Andy. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet, and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. <laughs> People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. You've learned the Ranger takedown special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. And that's freaking awesome. So yeah, that's something that you can do that probably a lot of people uh, do not engage with. Also, also, he's got a DC Journal of Internal Medicine, which I think is a book that'll permanently increase your stats. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to bypass that since it will be considered stealing. Now about the power attack, I guess that's unarmed? I don't remember. Um, which means we'll probably never use it, but still, it's nice to have, isn't it? Uh, there are more people to talk to here, and I think there's some interesting stuff to find in some of the hotel rooms, but for now, I think we'll get started with another quest, which is going to be Come Fly With Me. Head to the Repcon facility west of Novak to investigate rumors of ghoul attacks there. If we take a look at our map, there it is. Uh, looks like it's kind of close to the correctional facility. I mean, it's kind of smack dab in the middle, though. A little bit closer to the correctional facility, although I'm just going to go there from here, I think. Now, as we're walking a little bit, let's think, are we fully prepared for this? This is a pretty difficult quest, at least in terms of starting a new game out and going directly to this. 
I think we're safe, though. I think we've got everything that we need. Uh, we got Boone here. We'll roll with Boone for a while, um, I suppose. Like I said, I don't normally want to... Hey, actually... What can I do for you? Hi. I need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Okay, don't need the lip. Jeez. Uh, let's see. I just wanted to see if we couldn't sell that Brahmin steak. And indeed we can. We're going to uh, offload that real quick just to save ourselves Thanks. eight pounds. Time for me to go. Later. Bye-bye. Um, okay, so yeah, this is, a, this is a super early game side quest that most people do. And you don't have to do it that way. Like I said, we obviously looked at uh, good old Manny Vargas's inventory. We could just take the... What is that? Whoa! Glowing one. Okay. Um, we obviously could have just taken the holotape. You can do it that way if you want. It's interesting to me that they don't give you a speech option, by the way. But that's oh fine. My. Oh, man, that wasn't even me. That was straight up Boone. Yeah, so Boone's kind of OP, as we're going to see. Which is why I really don't want to be traveling with him, to be honest. Uh, or any... I mean, we're going to have to to increase their affinity so that they will, um, you know... So they'll want to travel with us. or So they'll want to give us the their quest... And their other perk, but yeah, they're really, really, really OP. Right, Boone? There you go. Okay, as I'm singing your praises. Whoa. Okay, there's that tracker perk. So if we zoom in, we can see that they're highlighted with red. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna have to use bats here. This guy's wailing on me hardcore. little more damage than I'd like to take there. Yeah, so having a companion in this game, and I forget if you can have... I forget how many you can have. I really don't know much about companions. Um, I did get all of them and, you know, went through all their perks and stuff eventually just because I wanted to see everything that this game had to offer back, way back when I first started playing it. But, um... Yeah, I don't remember if you can have more than just one. I'm not too sure, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, introduce each one of these companions, travel with them for a bit... And then, uh, and then we'll we'll send them on their way. I don't really want to use them too much because they're just OP. Boone will just smack all these people down. Ooh, rebar club there. That's interesting. Boone will just smack all these people down. Uh, and it just makes it too easy, to be honest. Okay, enter the facility and discover the source of the ghouls. So here we are. We're heading over this way, but we're going to take a quick second here to grab some scrap metal. Uh, we need three. How many do we have currently? We have three. Okay, good to know. Uh, we'll make use of that bed to get some free healing, but we're just going to quickly run through this. Scrap electronics are important, too, I know. Sensor module as well. We're going to need to find some place to store all this stuff, though. Empty syringes are good, as somebody reminded me, by the way. Uh, I didn't know why exactly I forgot, but yeah, you can make stim packs with them, so make sure to grab those if you'd like. Uh, we've got an empty footlocker there. We've got some bottle caps here. I'm not going to try to take the ones on the checkerboard, because we'll end up just taking the checkerboard, and I don't want that. we got a grenade box here. Which, if you don't mind, whoo, frag grenades there, which weigh a pound each, but they, or, I guess they're half a pound. Some energy cells there, more energy cells, that was the other ammo type that I was forgetting previously. A mine box, which we're not, oh man, they, who? Oh, I know it's gonna kill people, but we're not gonna take those. Um, I wanna, yeah, we don't have much strength, so we're already running out of carry weight pretty fast. Alright, let's rest for one hour, restore our health for free, and we will be on our way. Alright, this quest is pretty interesting. But there is a lot that goes into it. Uh, we're gonna be here for a little while, that's for sure. This is a big side quest. And all the big side quests in Fallout New Vegas uh, usually give you an achievement as well to kind of tell you, hey, this is a really big side quest. Uh, and this is one of those. Many people probably remember this one. Um... I hope we'll have the necessary stats to be able to do it interestingly. Also because, again, of Boone's spotter perk. If we zoom in, you can see they're highlighted in red. Uh, a little bit of practicality. It's neat. Company. We are so inaccurate here. Why did we gain karma for that? That's weird. Okay, yeah, our accuracy is terrible. We are going to need to get everything up to around 25 or 50 in terms of science and lockpick and things like that. Uh, okay, that was an incredibly long cinematic kill camp. You discovered Repcon test site. Okay, here we are. How close are we to a level up, by the way? I feel like it's been a little bit. Okay, so these are our ghouls, by the way. New enemy type. I'm pretty sure everybody's kind of 
familiar with them. Uh, we're gonna need to grab ourselves a nice little old thumbnail, but I'm wondering if we should get it of the rocket or the actual facility. The facility is gigantic. Uh, maybe we could do it like this. And then, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so bear with me, folks. No, not load. Settings, display. We're gonna try to do this as quickly and as efficiently as possible, because I know people get tired of it, probably. Don't bring out your pit boy. Pit boy. Okay, there we go. All right, and then let's go back into this. Settings, display, display. Jack this up. Sometimes it, like, it makes the noises if you hit the button, but it doesn't actually hit the button. Okay, like I said, this is pretty hard. And not because of the ghouls, because of something else entirely. I don't know exactly what our choices are going to be here, but we're going to give it our best shot. We got a dead ghoul here uh, with some, ooh, another laser rifle, some microfusion cells, and a stim pack. Very nice. Also, three crates of ammunition. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Okay, and let's go ahead and head inside. Wish me luck! Because this part is not oh the easiest thing to do. Can't run from me. Thank you, Boone, because my accuracy is god-awful. Yeah, we're really going to need to get that energy weapons up as quickly as possible. Okay, you want to loot these guys because every now and then they have some bottle caps, as you can see here. And in we go. The Repcon facility. Hey! Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Where are you located? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Got it. Let's hope you do. Okay, sorry folks. Yet again had another phone call. People sure do like calling me when I'm recording. My god. Oh. Already off the bat. Okay, where are you at, Boone? What uh okay, don't I don't know what's going Oh! Alright. It's over. Yeah, it's not over though, Boone, because you're kinda stuck behind the wall, but that's alright. Alright, we'll take that. We wanna take all the sunset sarsaparilla we can take, it's free healing, and also, of course, the chance of getting some sunset star sarsaparilla caps. Oh, God, that's going to be the new Dark Souls 2, Scott, the first sin, all bosses, semi-blind run. That's going to be such a tongue twister. Okay, we got a dead nightkin here. Look at his beautiful face. Really takes good care of his teeth, honestly. I mean, all things considered. Um, all right, what else do we have here? Notice all of these uh, these dead ghouls have this bright brotherhood robe, which is pretty interesting. Also, a plasma rifle here, which I think we should take. How much does this thing weigh? Oh, man, we're really going to need some strength to carry more stuff or something. Some perks to help us out, I suppose. Okay, so let's take a look at that quest that we have again. Head upstairs to meet with the owner of the voice from the intercom, which had a very raspy, sort of unnerving voice. Okay, I know he gave us explicit directions, but I was getting the call while he was saying that, so I wasn't paying exactly enough attention as I should have. But we I think he definitely said upstairs. So let's just be careful. Looks like Boone's got himself a bowie knife. It's over here. Hello, gentlemen. Woo! Oh yeah, whenever you get oh yeah, that's the thing about energy weapons. Whenever you get a critical strike, they sort of just uh dissipate into a nice satisfying pile of dust okay nice one boone all right let's see we're definitely not going to fully explore this place because it is gigantic oh my god that scares me yeah that's the thing about rolling with companions is that you'll often get surprised because they'll just take somebody out Ooh, another plasma rifle okay we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and go into our inventory and repair that stuff because we got two laser rifles, and we've got two plasma rifles, so boom. Yeah, so that's kind of the two different types of energy weapons. There's two different type of uh, types of ammo as well. Uh, you got plasma, and you got energy. And I, I think, pla I mean, plasma does count as another laser rifle. My god. I think um, plasma does count as energy weapons, doesn't it? I believe so. New to all this, so if I sound very ignorant when it comes to energy weapons, that is why. Just not used to using energy weapons whatsoever. As you can see by our energy weapon skill, that takes so long to vaporize these nerds. 
Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Fixer. Another laser rifle. My god. All right. Well, we're going to have a maxed out laser rifle then. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, we're just getting too much stuff now. Way too much stuff. Oh, and before everybody starts saying it, yes, we can get, we should be able to give Boone a bunch of our stuff too. I'm going to try to avoid that though, because uh, eventually we are going to get rid of Boone as much as I like him. And I don't really want to forget about him having so much stuff and then us have, and then we're going to have to, you know, try to figure out how to offload it all. Oh my God. Every single one of these guys has one. Okay. We're going to have to forego that one, I think. Man, without bats, it's just kind of too hard. Thank God Boone's here. Okay, where are we going? We're just going to try to corral all these feral ghouls together. Guess up there somewhere. Oh, here we go. If only was, I was using a mouse and a keyboard, which I have literally in front of me, be able to be much more accurate. Did we want to go up there? I think we do. We can also go that way, but I think this is the path that we want to take. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of feral ghouls in here, as you can see. And some dead nightkin, as I've mentioned. There we go. Getting a lot of critical strikes, at least. Probably due to, <laughs> due to our very high luck stat. Can't run from me. Not probably, definitely due to our very high luck stat. Yeah, that is the thing that I forgot about, about companions, that um, that kill cam thing. It, uh, it completely throws you off your game if you're used to playing alone. Okay, here we go. All right, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Okay. Now this uh, door to the research labs is open. Our way is clear. And we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves to whoever's behind that door in the next episode. Uh, this is where the quest gets good. Uh, I've done this quest so many times that, like, I mean, everybody, you know, everybody starts to do this one early on in their, in their run. And, um... Yeah, it's just, oh boy, there's so much that goes into this. So I'll try to make, you know, the outcome interesting. I'll try my best. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to because just who this character is. But we'll give it our best shot. We got, we're going to have a lot of options coming up, though. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much to the people supporting me on Patreon and everywhere else. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.